so see here uh, we have uh, ay in the upward direction where p and vx both are in downward direction so if we sum out ay that is positive p is going downward so it is negative vx again going downward so it is negative so it means uh, p vx is equal to p minus p a upon a plus b now let me take the moment with respect to the b right so ay into the distance that is x distance so at this point suppose we are taking the moment at this point right at this point over here we are taking the moment at this point so ay into x ay into x so it is a clockwise moment it produces the clockwise moment so positive then p your p force is over here p p into your distance now see from a to your x that is x and this one is a so remaining will be the remaining will be the distance that is x minus x minus a right so p into this distance this distance right that is x minus a and your moment that is again in the anti clockwise moment so minus mx right so if you simplify that we will get mx is equal to p into a in bracket 1 minus x upon 1 a plus b so if you just sort out all these things uh, for bending moment and shear force then if your location of the cross section is 0 greater than x less than or equal to a right then your shear force will be PB on A plus B and your bending moment will be PB into X A plus B. If your X is greater than or equal to A or less than B, then your shear force will be PA A plus B and PA in bracket 1 minus X upon A plus B. So uh, for uh, A to C, you have the shear force that is PB. that is over here that is pb a plus b and over here that is minus pb pa upon a plus b right where your moment at the mid span right that is when you become uh, that a x is equal to a if you put x is equal to a then p a b upon a plus b right so this is your final bending moment diagram for the side b let me take another example uh, of the a b beam uh, a is pin joint and b is a roller support and your beam a b is subjected to uniformly distributed load that is q per meter length right per unit length and the span is suppose l meter so let me take the cross section over here right at the distance of x at the distance of x from a right and we got the point c right so let me apply the equilibrium condition sigma f x is equal to 0 fx is equal to 0 so a y that is equal to 0 let me take the moment uh, at this point c then a y that is force a y into distance x a y into distance x right so a y into distance x so we are taking the moment with respect to this point B, right? Point B. We are taking the moment with respect to this point B, right? So with respect to this point, Ay into the distance, so that is L, right? So Ay into this distance L, Ay into distance L. This is the clockwise moment, so take it positive. Then moment due to this UDL. Right? So when we are taking the moment uh, with respect to that UDL, we convert this UDL into the point load and the magnitude of that force is become the this the UDL into its distance that is L. Right? So this force, this vertical force will be the QL and it act at distance of it act at distance of mid span right that is L 
by 2 right l by 2 right so l by 2 so due to this udl load that is ql now we converted it into the point load ql so ql is acting at the mid span at the distance of l by 2 from b right so ql into l by 2 right so ql into l by 2 that is equal to 0 so you get ay ay is equal to ql upon 2 right then sigma y is equal to 0 so we have two upward force one is ay and another by both are going upward right ay is going upward where by is also going upward so ay plus by where only one force is going down now we converted this udl into the point load so that is going downward right so ql is negative that is equal to 0 so we get by is equal to ql upon 2 so now we have the reaction that is ay is equal to ql upon 2 and by is equal to ql upon 2 now if we draw the free body diagram at this x section then we have a horizontal force that is fx vertical force vx and the moment that is mx we get ql by 2 that is ay now let me uh, solve the vertical force right so vertical force that is ql now again uh, we have the udl for x x span right so again we need to convert this force this force as a point load and having the value that is equal to q into x q into x q into x qx that is your point load right that is your point load we converted this udl load into the point load qx right so qs again it is acting it is acting at distance of distance of x by 2 right x by 2 right so the force ql is acting at the distance x by 2 right so due to this qx we have the moment qx into x by 2 right so your moment is qx right your force is qx see here we are only solving the uh, vertical force so qx is going downward so negative again vx is going downward so it is negative that is equal to 0 so vx is equal to qx minus ql by 2 similarly we take the moment at c point right so at c point ay into x ay into x so a is ql by 2 into x and your point load that is converted by udl that is qx so qx into this distance x by 2 minus your moment that is mx so you get the value of mx that is ql by 2 into x and qx square by 2 right this is how we can find out the moment at any cross section x from a so this is the shear force as we have ql by 2 that is positive and ql by 2 that is negative b so this is your shear force diagram and this is your bending moment diagram so in the previous case if you put uh, the here over the x is equal to 0 then you will get the a moment at x right so a moment at x if you put x is equal to 0 then it becomes a right so point a so at point a you have the 0 if you put x is equal to l it means it is b point right so if we put x is equal to l then we get the moment that is at moment b so that is again 0 and the maximum moment that will occur that will occur at the mid span right at the mid span it means l by 2 right so if we put here x is equal to l by 2 we'll get the maximum moment that is wl square by that is ql square by 8 right so this is your bending moment diagram okay thank you